Hello world. I am in Bass Lake, California, and I was thinking about a question that I get asked a lot. What are your favorite places in Mexico? So I'm going to tell you, if you're considering Mexico, my two favorite places, and I haven't explored the whole country, but I have been there six or seven times. My two favorites are Oaxaca City and Puerto Vallarta. So I've been on both sides of Mexico, up in the mountains. I haven't been to Chiapas. I've been to the Tijuana, Baja area. And they're all so different. It's a huge country. So you have to go there and see for yourself. Puerto Vallarta is nice. It's right in the ocean. It's beautiful. Lots of nice beaches. Lots of expats there, mostly from Canada and the United States. You'll still meet Europeans. And the culture there is very accepting of us foreigners coming. Lots of great food, good restaurants. Um, I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. But I've been twice. The first time I stayed two months, I liked it that much. I like the Pacific side better the, than the Caribbean side. Um, I have been to Cancun several times. I used to own a timeshare there and I sold it. Um, you know, it's just everybody has their own taste. I've been to Tulum several times, but I liked it as before it got discovered. is um, more like a fishing village and not um, a new age center. <laughs> but I haven't been back since 2012, so... Um, I liked Isla Mujera, spent about a week there. But I feel like it's a totally different culture on the Caribbean side and you just have to decide what you like better if you're thinking of living there. And then there's all these little towns that have much lower costs, um, are more Mexican culturally, uh, more uh, not infiltrated by a lot of foreigners like us. So Oaxaca City, going on to that town, I liked architecturally a nice colonial, beautiful town, historical center that's preserved. And oh my God, the food. So you're gonna get food there like tlayutas and what's the other thing um, that you're not gonna find, mole. Oh my God, it's like the mole center of the universe. And they've got amazing markets. So the food you're not gonna find anywhere else. And the markets are really interesting and uh, art. Oh, and then the big surprise about Oaxaca City was all the rooftop wonderful restaurants that um, are aimed at the upscale tourists, but not a high price. So you get a great ambiance, you get a wonderful food, and the wine is delicious from um, that area just south of Tijuana. I can't think of the name. So you get a lot of good amenities for like a 30 to 40% less price in Oaxaca. Now I haven't discovered Porto Escondido. Maggie, I want to come visit you there. Um, it's supposed to be, it's on the water, it's in the Oaxaca province or the Oaxaca area. But because you have to go over the big mountain to get there, I just haven't gone. Um, so you can fly, but you have to go through Mexico City. Oh, wait a minute, Mexico City. Okay, my three favorite places that I've been to. I liked San Miguel Allende and I'd like to spend more time there. I was only there five days and then um, I had to return to the USA. So um, I, w I would recommend that place. Um, it's pretty developed, but it still has that Mexican authenticity, but it's really different than Puerto Vallarta and Oaxaca City. Um, so anyway, those are my top two. But Mexico City surprised me. It's bigger than New York City. The food scene is out of this world. You can get anything. Um, sushi, seafood, Italian, everything. I didn't need Italian because I just wait until I get to Italy to do that because why compare? 
So there you have it. If you have any questions about Mexico, those are my personal experiences, and I'd be happy to answer your questions here on YouTube. So I'll see you in the next video.